There's nothing like a mother's love, and moms from the animal kingdom are no exception. These creatures will go all out for their kids, from putting dinner on the table every night to even sacrificing themselves. These offspring really need to make sure they mail their Mother's Day cards in time this year. The first mom on our list earns her spot for giving birth to the biggest babies on Earth. We're talking an average of 200 pounds here. Can you even imagine a diaper that large? Female elephants also deserve a prize for enduring a 22-month pregnancy. The calves are initially born blind, forcing them to rely on their trunks for navigation and discovery. But fortunately, they live in a matriarchal society. Once the baby's born, the other ladies in the herd lend a hand, including grandmothers, sisters, aunts, and even cousins. These full-time babysitters are called allo mothers, and they help in every aspect of caring for the young calves. So in this case, it really does take a village to raise an elephant. The older elephants adjust the pace of the herd so the calf can keep stride. By watching the adults, the calf learns which plants to eat and how to access them. The females regularly make affectionate contact with the calf. This mom gives a muddy bath to everyone. Okay, elephant moms are good, but these cute-faced, fluffy-eared koalas are steps ahead. Young females have a baby every year. Older females sometimes only have a baby once every two years. Never agree to an eating competition with a female koala, as she only dines on one thing – highly poisonous eucalyptus leaves. Her digestive tract can tolerate this otherwise deadly treat thanks to bowels that are packed with special bacteria that detoxify the leaves. Babies, or joeys, aren't born with these superpowers, not to mention the lack of ears, eyes, and fur, but Mama Koala comes to the rescue and helps them build up their tolerance by feeding them her own feces. Yeesh. What did you say? That provides the baby with the microbes it needs to digest eucalyptus leaves. Once the joeys are born, they spend about five to seven months inside the mother's pouch, feeding on milk and forming their missing parts. But this is a mom who won't lose any sleep while nurturing. The female koala gets about 22 hours of sleep a day. That's nearly 90% of her life spent snoozing, and they spend the rest of the day eating leaves. Hey, that's not too bad. No personal space? A mama koala was caught on camera patiently carrying three joeys at the Billabong Zoo in Australia. The female alligator has got to have one of the greenest pregnancies this side of the ozone. Her nest is a heap of rotting vegetation, the ultimate compost pile, that produces heat so she doesn't have to sit on her eggs. Scientists use special thermometers to monitor the two-month incubation period in these nests, and the heat does more than bring these babies to fruition. If the temperature is less than 88 degrees, break out the pink, but if it tops 91, it's a boy. Once the babies are born, the mothers carry them around in their jaw for protection, assisting them to the water, where they'll spend their first years eating fish, insects, snails, and crustaceans. Wonder if that comes pureed. Most mother alligators provide protection for a few months, but some provide protection for their young for up to a year. Once in the water, the young alligators tend to stay close to their mother and form social groups called pods. These pods offer the young some protection However, it's their large and intimidating mother that provides most of their protection. Polar Bears Male polar bears are the kings of one-night stands, leaving the moms-to-be to put on around 400 pounds during their pregnancy. That's a lot of baby weight. But in this case, late-night cravings are encouraged. In fact, if the female doesn't find enough food to double her weight, her body will actually reabsorb the fetus. Sounds like something from a science fiction movie. It's all too true. After she packs on the pounds, the polar bear has one of the easiest labors on record. She digs a maternity den, usually in a snowdrift, where she goes into a hibernation-like state, doesn't eat for two months, and also sleeps through the baby's birth. Newborns are blind and toothless, but super cute, and they generally stay by their mom's side for just two years before being sent out on their own. Sort of like condensing the toddler, tween, and adolescent years. A Todd tween sense, perhaps. These mom polar bears spend four to five months without any food while feeding the baby milk. She'll lose half her body weight during this time. Patience is a virtue, especially when it comes to being a cheetah mom. At any given time, females usually have four to six cubs to care for, but these kids aren't born with survival instincts, 
It's up to mom to teach them how to hunt prey and avoid other predators, and this training can take nearly two years to sink in and stick. Okay, today's lesson, how to hunt a deer. Shh, let's get closer. Hmm, all yours now. Mom, what just happened? Lesson of the day. Down not always mean out. Cheetah mothers raise their young in isolation. They move the litter, usually two to six cubs, every four days to prevent a buildup of smell that predators can track. Hmm. Doing the dirty diapers are not too bad after all. Once the cubs learn to fend for themselves, mom moves on to start a new family, while her offspring left behind form a sibling or sib group. The boys will stay together for life, but the females will leave the group six months or so later, as they tend to be solitary and avoid each other. Ladies, 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 can't we all just get along? The highly intelligent orangutan is the ultimate do-it-yourself mom. She spends nearly all her life high up in the trees where she builds a new nest every single night from branches and foliage, fashioning more than 30,000 homes in her lifetime. She also never puts her babies down generally nursing offspring until they reach the age of six or seven. That's the longest dependence of any animal on Earth. For the most part, males come around only to mate, and even the baby boys break away more quickly from their mothers than their female counterparts, who often stay longer to learn child-rearing skills. We complain kids never want to leave the park or playground. Watch this, the orangutan mom dealing pretty much with the same thing with her toddler. Playtime's over. I need to make dinner. These red-knobbed hornbills live in the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, where they utilize holes in trees as their nests. Their eggs are a favorite food of monitor lizards, so to combat these predators, the hornbills narrow the entryway to their nests with a very special sealant – their own feces. What? Yes, a home security system at no cost. Now that should discourage any games of ding-dong ditch. Mama hornbill will stay in her hole for the entire two-month incubation period ignoring any of her own hunger pains to her detriment, though one can imagine that the smell from her protection method would more or less kill anyone's appetite. Elephant Seal This female elephant seal, who's large and in charge, generally weighs in at up to 1,700 pounds. However, that's nothing compared to her male suitor, who's usually four times her size and tends to get around town if you get the drift. Once pregnant, these moms-to-be immediately start to bulk up even more, putting on additional weight during every day of the 11th month gestation period. However, after giving birth, she'll drop about 600 pounds while nursing her cubs in less than a month. Sort of like all those Hollywood celebrity moms who get their shape back in a ridiculously short period of time, although that might have something to do with personal trainers and regimented meals. These seal mothers are not just good at caring for the baby, but also protecting them from any danger. Look at this mom warning the male elephant seal, stay off! Even though she's smaller than the male, she will not think twice to fight and chase the intruders. Don't mess with me! Octopus When it comes to having babies, the female octopus doesn't mess around. She lays over 50,000 eggs, and that's without any fertility drugs. It takes around 40 days for the eggs to develop before hatching, and the mom stays on top of the eggs on the rock ceiling pretty much for the rest of her life. Hmm. They're not grapes, it's clusters of eggs. Her life goal becomes protecting the eggs from predators while gently blowing currents of water over them to provide oxygen. But playing bodyguard to the eggs also prohibits her from hunting for herself. So what's a mom to do? Well, let's see. With eight arms, surely that's more than any octopus really needs. So what's the harm in eating one? Pass the salt and pepper, please. Yes, these moms' life ends with the reproduction. <laughs>